Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean. Last time we took on the boss of the Silvalent Ruins here and collected a whole bunch of eh, somewhat good treasure. At least we got ourselves a new weapon for Radix anyway. Um, other than that, we are finally here at the, uh, well, another random battle of course, but we're finally here at the, the main event, so to speak, of this uh, dungeon, this optional dungeon. There's actually an optional sequence here. Now, this will play out differently depending on who you have in your party. Now, I'm going to try to show off as much of this as I can. Uh, I'm not going to go search through those. But anyway, once we head through this door, uh, a sequence will play out. And I'm going to highly, 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 highly advise that you save before coming in here. Whether that's a save state or a save file or both, as in my case, most definitely you want to save because the events in here change some things and you can't go back. So yeah, make sure you've got this all done up ahead of time. Uh, I did manage to find a couple of PSP uh, videos that I could, uh, or uh, some copies of the, the FMVs and the dialogue that takes place in here, which explains it a little better than this version of the game does, but for now, let's go inside. It's not just an empty chamber. It's not really a hidden path, but uh, I guess it's kind of hidden, a little bit. Eh, whatever. What's up, Millie? I find Millie's run hilarious with her, the way her tail just goes all over the place. You know, Radix has his tail movement, but it's not the same. We have an angel. Elise is the name of her in this version of the game. In other versions of the game, and I don't know why this happens in a later version of the game, her name is Eris. Yes, that kind of Eris. Not spelt the same way, but that's how they pronounce it. I don't know why they do that, but eh, is what it is. Joshua trying to save another angel, or rather, feather folk. Hmm, I wonder who she could possibly be. Why are you trying to stop everything, Marvel? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, yes, cold ice. Kind of redundant there, Millie. <laughs> what? Leave you no choice? What? That's not how this is supposed to go down. We're not supposed to fight our own party members. What? Yeah, if he hasn't mentioned it already. Yeah, this is his sister. His sister's name is Eris or Elise in this version. And... Yeah, so that's that's the situation here. Though I don't know why Marvel is trying to stop it. Okay. For what? I don't think anybody understands what she's thinking in this version of the game. Oh? What? Now, I believe this is the room that Kiwi got from the King of Silvalent. Uh, was referring to getting into this specific room because if you recall when we got the key uh, Marvel had some ellipses little icon above her head at that point as well so I'm assuming that means that it's supposed to be for this cave I'm not 100% sure but that would be my guess so 
so we're gonna have boss time against Marvel. That's kind of different. What kind of wishes? Er, what? What is happening? I have no idea what's happening. And they're gone. Yeah. Okay. What does it mean? Now, this is why I said that this version of the game does not explain the scene at all. This was a real piss off for me because I never did this scene the first two times I played through the game because I didn't choose to recruit Joshua. Now, this scene only plays out if you have both Marvel and Joshua. If you do not have Joshua, the scene plays out similarly, except for with Joshua not here to push the issue, Marvel ends up winning and we leave the area and nothing happens. If... I think that's the only different combination you have in this one. And it, because if you ha if you recruit uh, Marvel, you have no choice but to recruit, or if you recruit Joshua, there's no choice but to recruit Marvel, so there's no other option, just, uh, you know, one of them showing up. Anyway, um, I'm going to go queue up the uh, video that has the, uh, the PSV version in there, which will actually explain what the hell is going on here. And then I will meet you outside when I'm done. Uh, you know, the main takeaway from this is we now have lost Marvel. Anything she was equipped, all the stuff we taught her. So I'm going to undo this. I don't want to lose Marvel. Marvel is a great character, and I do want to show off more of her stuff. So, yeah, I don't want to lose her, so I'm going to undo this. Make sure, you know, that's why I said save ahead of time. It doesn't really make any sense in this version of the game. Not until you see some of the uh, the endings to the game where it finally gives you, like, that one line. It's like... Oh, that makes sense now. So, anyway, I'm going to queue those up, and we'll watch those, and then I'll meet you outside in a moment. Okay, so this is how the scene plays out in the PSP version of the game. And now I found what these online, so I will apologize for the quality of the video. It's not great. It should be in HD, but it isn't, so sorry. Nothing I can do about this. He doesn't have a tail. He must be from the old race. Now, I specifically put this in video form so I could pause and show you bits and pieces. The old race refers to the Morians, or what we've, uh, you know, we've heard them called the Morians. They are the old race in this, you know, that's what they call them in this version. So the legend was true all along. Is he dead? If he were in cryostasis, he might still be alive, but no, he doesn't have any vital signs. And she can tell that just by looking at him. Millie still notices the situation before anyone hey, else. Look at this! What is it, Millie? Looks like there's a feather folk among them. You see the wings? Yeah, Eris. pretty much. And yes, huh? as I said, Eris. How her name did is you Eris end up like this? this? <sighs> I've frozen you solid. Hang on. I'm going to save you! Hold it! Think a little bit, Yoshua. Her body has no vital signs whatsoever. Even if you got her out of that ice, it's not like you could resurrect her or anything. I know that! I just cannot leave Eris like this! She's my sister! Now, the PSP version has a lot of things going for it. One, the voice acting's alright from what I've seen, but it also has some additional scenes which make a little more sense you know already they've displayed a lot more emotion than they managed to in uh, the original SNES version now the fact that Ronixis is the one or Ronix as they call him in this game uh, is the one stopping and talking about an inability at resurrection hints back to the scene uh, when whichever town it was I think it was in Van no yes maybe Either way, it was whatever. He had a scene at night in the hotel or in the inn with uh, Iria. Not that kind of scene. Stop that. Uh, and they discussed the uh, existence of his dead wife that he wasn't able to save. Um, so yeah, that I just found that 
very effective. I also like the music in this version as well. Yoshua, Ronix is right. It'd be best if you just let her rest in peace. They also call her uh, if that's Mabel what you want to do, instead of Marvel. I promise. I'll do all I can to help Yoshua. Quit it, please! Shut up and move! My life's mission was to save my sister. She was all I had to live for. And now you're telling me just to leave Eris like this. My own flesh and blood. Well, you can go to hell. I'm gonna save my sister, and I'll sacrifice everything I've got to do it. As you can see, Joshua's character, called Yoshua in uh, this version of the game, is much more forceful and has a very strong sense of belief. It's brought across in the SNES version as well, but not to the same extent. Uh, Marvel is also called Mabel, is a little more humanized in this version of the game. Uh, this scene will play out the same way, um, well, it plays out a certain way with uh, both Joshua and Marvel. However, adding um, Ashley to the mix, which is the blue-haired character in the bottom right, will actually add a different outcome to this sequence. So I just wanted to make note of that. I also have a video clip that shows what happens if Ashley is not there. Wait, Yoshua! Eris! She's... she's me. My brother, I am Eris. Now it <sighs> makes sense. When the Crimson Shield took me away, one of his symbologist cronies brainwashed me and trained me as an assassin. I followed their orders to the letter, and I've caused the deaths of so many innocent people. I was seriously injured after botching the killing of a certain well-known symbologist. They left me on the street to die. That was when my repressed memories finally came back. Yeah, they've established in this version of the game that she had repressed memories from this event, which is what we saw in Joshua's flashback earlier in the game. I struggled terribly with the pain and the guilt of my crimes. I swore to myself that someday I would have my revenge against the Crimson Shield. Which is it why it was the very was so symbologist I was sent before. to kill who retrieved me from death's door. By the time I recovered, I was faced with a difficult problem. If I remained a Featherfolk, I was in danger of being found and arrested. During a private action in this version of the game as well, they've acknowledged that there is a Featherfolk. Um, I believe specifically a blonde one that was um, committing uh, murders and because as they've talked about here she was brainwashed into doing so uh, her remaining a feather folk would have mean, meant that she would have been found out and of course you know either killed or arrested or whatever are you right on that count many people witnessed a feather folk girl at the scene of the murders some of the rumors we heard identified you as Deathwing. The symbologist who nursed me back to health gave me a vital piece of information. He told me of a relic from the old race that allows you to transfer yourself into other bodies. That's what this is? Yes. I discarded my original self here and transferred myself into an old race body. Eris! So, as you can see, the old race is a race of Morians, or the people of the Moor continent, who originally founded the planet. Now, we'll learn more about these, uh, this race later in the game, but for now, suffice to say, different species from, or, well, I'll call it a species, different race of people from, say, the Felpool, which are um, Millie and Radix, uh, not human, uh, not lesser Felpool like uh, Prissy, uh, who else we got here? And not, yeah, I think pretty much all of them are just, Ro the rest of them are pretty much Rokians. Except for, um, Tinek there, I guess. But then I learned another shocking fact. The Crimson Shield was just as much a victim as I was. 
that he lost his sanity because of the Mirror of Incarnation. We haven't heard about Indeed. this yet, but we will. The Crimson Shield I knew was a righteous man, one who fought for the rights of all people. If Ashley's not here, you don't get that line, and that is what changes the outcome of the scene. Yoshua, I have made up my mind. I'm going to return to my original body and pay for my crimes. It's not right for me to try to escape my past just for the sake of revenge. That's right, Eris. You can't move on towards the future if you simply abandon your past. Eris, I'm so happy to see you again. And Me too, my brother. if you have recruited Ashley, you get a new character in place of Marvel. You get Eris, who, from what I recall, is built similarly to Joshua, still a red mage with both healing and attack spells, though I think she works more on uh, like debuffs and buffs more than flat out damage and stuff like that. I still, wait, I haven't played through the entire game. I played bits and pieces, but I would still prefer Marvel as a character because she's just so damn good, especially late game. Eris, let me help you overcome your past. I won't let you carry the burden by yourself. Thank you. Yeah, it's... This is wonderful, Yoshua. It's Ashley's and words Eris that too. prevent her from... I'm so uh, happy for the both of you just disappearing like she did before. Though I will show what happens with that. I know I said no, I was going to meet you guys. I know I've been kind of distant in the past, but let's try to be friends now, okay? I know I said uh, I like that I'd meet you outside, but I think I'm going to run out of time, so we'll just, uh, sure thing, Eris. <laughs> just, we'll just cut it. this video off Absolutely. as soon as I'm done with the next sequence, because I think it's another two minutes and that will bring well, me around my time. Let's get going. Ronix, you're a killjoy. You just stopped the happy music. Anyway, let's take a look at uh, this other one once they're done recruiting her into the party. This plays out if you don't have Ashley. You actually get a, an FMV. This is after the original start of the sequence. I'm happy that I got to travel with Yoshua and everyone else. There's a reason for all of this. Eris, what is it you're trying to say? As you can tell, he already knows. What I'm trying to say, my brother, is that I know you can avenge our parents' deaths. But now, I'm afraid I'm a little tired. Uh, wait a second, Eris! I only hope this will atone for my sins. Forgive me, Yoshua. 